What's up, everybody? Welcome to Star Trek Adventures USS Adventure. How are you all doing? What? Here we are again, rolling some dice. What is up to my fantabulous crew? How are you all today? Good, but we changed the ship's Alive. name again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Venture, not Adventure. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Star Trek Adventure USS Venture. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I've been playing uh, VTM too much, and I read it as Venture. Ah, venture. yes, Venture. Also not right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the most regal of vampires. Wonderful. Uh, hello to the chat. I hope you all are doing amazing. Thank you very much to all of our subscribers and to our followers. Uh, if you are sticking around as a subscriber throughout the month of April, you will notice some new things coming. We are going to be running contests. And if you are a subscriber, you will get a little bit of a luck boost. So subscribe to win prizes. Mm -hmm. I, I can't <laughs> win. <laughs> I can't win it. Uh, so how about we get, we just jump right into this thing since we're a little bit behind. Um, now our captain, take it away. Uh, start at 4500.2. Our entire bridge crew has been summoned to appear before Starfleet High Command. We've only been told that it is of the highest priority. Captain's personal log, I think that Vulcan snitched us out. <laughs> I think it was Q. That seems to happen every single time that every I want time. the captain. It, it's just that part. Like when... Captain Jackson, when you go to give the, the captain's log every single time, you get a little robot. But then the rest of the episode, you're completely fine. I, do, I don't know what I'm it is. because I'm talking to a damn computer. <laughs> 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 I, I talk, you know, it's kind of like when I talk to the Vulcan. <laughs> I, you know, that... <laughs> I do yeah, a that you notice, I do talk to the Vulcan differently than I talk to Tactical. When I talk to my chief, I'm excited. Because I'm usually saying fire. <laughs> and I'm usually My saying, what took thing. you so long? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for uh, this. Uh, Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm not a, the one what? controlling the missiles. <laughs> uh, well, so no, just you're a, the one that uh, don't know about rocks. <laughs> just a super quick uh, recap of that in case anybody didn't get it. Uh, the entire bridge crew has been summoned to appear before Starfleet High Command. Uh, all they have been told is that it is of the highest priority. That's it. That's the only information they've been given. Now, we are we like warping back to Starbase One? or You well, are warping, warping back to be. Earth. Yep, Starbase One. <laughs> SB-01. <laughs> Um, teach that to the Admiral Nash there. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, so it it does not take very long for you to get back to the planet Earth, and uh, you make your way through all the you know salutes and all that good stuff that normally happens as you make your way to Admiral Nash's office. Uh, when you arrive. The little auto door dealie opens up and you see him sitting at his desk and oh uh, great he stands up come in come in come in come in come in after you ladies because that's my whole crew I walk in <laughs> I think we killed off my, my my four red shirts that were male <laughs> yeah yeah the whopping four of them uh, <laughs> So as, as you all enter in one by one, he's extending his hand for, you know, a, a handshake and everything. Um, it's so, so, so good that you were here. I'm so, so happy. I, I'm sorry for this, the secretiveness of this, but I promise it'll be well worth it. Just, uh, I hope you all brought your dress uniforms. Of course. Well, I can find one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Uh, so um, we're actually going to need you in uh, full dress 
in about an hour in front of high command. Um, just remember your P's and Q's and everything will go just fine. I request um, counsel. Uh, yeah, well, you, you won't need counsel for this. Oh, excellent. That'll be a first for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I want to say thank you all so much for your very detailed reports. Uh, they were instrumental in getting everything accomplished that we needed to. <laughs> this is the worst buffet ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ole, P's and Q. Um, so, uh, you know, feel free to uh, do what you wish uh, for an hour, and then um, I will see you outside of the high command's office. Well, guess I'll head back to the venture, shave, trim out the stash, get a little wax going on there. <laughs> Put I'm on so my dress sorry. uniform. I have to go for a second. Um, I'll hop on right back. I'm so sorry. Okay. No problem. Put on my dress uniform. Get out my six beaver hat. <laughs> In black. And if that didn't waste an hour, um, I'll, I'll quick draw practice in the mirror. <laughs> for an hour <laughs> I love it <laughs> oh my goodness that is great uh, Margot, Vetti, what are you doing? Um, I've got ready really fast I don't usually wear it so it looks exactly the same as it did the last time I whip it on, put it on look in the mirror one time and then I head back to I guess the whatever bay we're going to you're not you're not yeah, gonna fix your mustache? No. Oh, okay. No, not today. <laughs> not this not time. Here, not now. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. <laughs> not like this. Vetti, um, what about you? I... Sharpen your ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't kind of rub, rub my ears a little bit, you know, and kind of get I knew she was a Ferengi at home. Um <laughs> It, and like kind of fix my hair a little bit more, kind of probably trim it just a little bit. Um, and like put on the dress uniform and then walk right on out. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> so the Margot and Vetti are heading back to uh the high command's office. Uh it's only been like 10 minutes at this point. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Captain Jackson still <laughs> yeah. Yeah. snap decorations. Boop, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Shh, open my little safe. Pull them all out. <laughs> 30 years. There you work. go. <laughs> I wonder I if Captain Jackson admiral is. By now. I should be an admiral by now. Look at all those. <laughs> I wonder if Captain Jackson is daydreaming, so to speak, in his room. <laughs> Anything to say to that, Margot? No. I, agree. Sorry, not, I don't not. I don't I don't try to question what goes on in his head. I just <laughs> follow what comes out of his mouth. And even that's questionable. I refuse to answer because if I do, he'll be standing behind me. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that is how it works. Yeah, now, I'm sitting, now I'm sitting on my saddle in the middle of the room. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I could see that 100%. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so an hour passes by, and all of you have gathered outside of uh, the high command office. Um, Admiral Nash comes back up, and he's wearing his uh, dress get up as well. Oh. Admiral? Ah, Captain Jackson, looking wonderful as always. Margot, or uh, Lieutenant Whitney. Uh, Lieutenant Vetti, looking good, looking good. Um, oh, sorry, I'm a little nervous when it comes to these kind of things. I'm not one for these kind of formalities, so I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm trying to get my nerves under control. Um, what do you say we head on in here? <laughs> <laughs> Slap the Admiral across me. Calm down, man. 
I'm freaking out, man. Uh, give me some of that hypo spray. All uh, right. So the <laughs> there she is. Good timing. <laughs> Did somebody say Ad... hypo spray? <laughs> give, give the admiral something to calm him down a little. Okay. Um, fuck. Just a little. Not what you give us. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not what you give us. Do I need to roll anything? <laughs> No, we don't fly under the influence. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me. Let's go. With... Let's go with daring and medicine. Daring. Okay. <laughs> I like. I'm it. so sorry. It's been a while since I played this version. Um, is that two d twenty, sir? Yep. Okay. Bong. Oh, oh God. Um, it's going to be a four and a one. You made it. You got it. Perfect. Quit. That's three. Yeah. Three successes. So you uh, like, even though you're in your full, uh, I want to call I'm I, Air Force. So Joe, help me out here. What What is it called in the Navy? What is full dress called? Dress blues. Dr dress uniform. Okay. Because it, it's dress <laughs> blues in the Air Cause, Force. Because so. it, it changed. Well, it depends on the season for the Navy. To be dress whites. Yeah. Because in this, well, in summer, it's your, your dress whites. And in the winter, it's your dress blues. Ah, okay. Hmm. Uh, so, you, yeah, we're, we're just going to go with Starfleet dress. Um, so, somehow, Diana manages to produce a hypo spray injector and just like, Sly is Sly is all get out comes up behind Admiral Nash and just like pss, and he's like oh oh That's okay bad. that <laughs> works I'm, I'm gonna I lean over out of my hair hey, hey hey Doc where'd you have that hidden uh, sir all this hair don't you see it <laughs> all <laughs> this hair yeah sure, I, where, yeah sure it came out of your hair I like <laughs> you you're crazy but I like you. All right, I guess the door is open like and we you. go in. There's a cupcake. <laughs> uh, so you all head inside, and uh, there are three chairs at the far end with the United Federation of Planets symbol like up behind them, and then two rows, as you can see by my picture, two rows of officers all sitting, you know, in their little chairs, and they all stand up as you come in. Uh, Admiral Nash leads the way. Uh, the three people at the far end stand and, you know, motion you all forward, get you all in front of them and whatnot. And they say, well, one of them says, All rise. Attention to orders. Captain James Jackson, Lieutenant Margot Whitney, Lieutenant Deanna Morganth, and Lieutenant Fetty have distinguished themselves in the performance of outstanding service to the United Federation of Planets as bridge crew aboard the USS Venture. During this period, the crew discovered 4,000 meters squared tons of raw dilithium crystal. Their efforts will support mission critical vessels and keep them on target throughout the alpha quadrant the singularly distinct accomplishments of this bridge crew creates a no i don't know what that is uh <laughs> culminates a distinguished career in the service of the planet and reflects great credit upon themselves and the united federation of planets it is my pleasure to announce the promotion of these fine individuals. Allow me to introduce the newly appointed Admiral James Jackson, Lieutenant Commander Margot Whitney, Lieutenant Commander Diana Morganth, and Lieutenant Commander Vetti. And they all woo, woo, cheers, cheers, cheers. Everybody's all all happy for you uh <laughs> admiral turns <laughs> turns around thumbs up <laughs> he's still a little on the high side well the low side <laughs> <laughs> uh 
so you know everybody continues clapping as the um three head honchos of starfleet come forward and uh pin your pips on and everything and you know shake your hands and all that good stuff um and basically say uh you know uh go with admiral nash uh your new orders await anybody see where convetti went confetti <laughs> she confetti. ran out yeah <laughs> i like to think that we keep everyone on our crew with a short leash and a loose collar so <laughs> oh, wait, ran out of there had, didn't it, you say that she has to take a science class maybe she checked in early to get her oh supply. you mean she's finally taken geology yeah <laughs> Maybe. Oh. You know, the rest of us are looking at that big crystal gob of, of stuff in this guy going, look, dilithium. She's going, where? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to be learned here soon enough. So, you know, mm, it'll yeah. be all worth it. It's true. It's true. All right. Uh, so after this, uh, you know, ceremony part, uh, there is a reception held in the reception hall, which all of you may attend. Um, and as you're all, you know, hobnobbing, shaking hands, all that good stuff, uh, Admiral Nash comes around to Admiral Jackson and says, uh, well, congratulations on your promotion. I, I hope you, uh, aren't ready to less rest on your laurels just yet. Oh, hell no. I got lots of time left in me. I'm ready to go. Did Margo hear that? <laughs> sure. Uh, so Margo will just pop her head around the corner and say, I'll rest when I want. Thank you, though. <laughs> Dang. Damn, Margo, you're sounding like a vetty hey. every other day. <laughs> <laughs> you said that so matter-of-factly, it was scary. Right. Uh, hey, welcome right. back, Sorry. Lieutenant Commander. Lieutenant my, Commander. my internet went kaput right oh, as, no. like, uh, the the person start talking once we got in. So after that, I have no idea what has well, happened. You're all lieutenant commanders now because of that wonderful wink wink discovery of dilithium we made. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody okay. got promotions. Um. So, uh, or Admiral Nash says, well, um. If, if you're ready, uh, I have something very interesting to show you. Uh, it'll be in regards to your next assignment. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, it's it would be beneficial if all of your bridge crew and your, your medical officer came. Let's go. After you, of course, Admiral. So he leads you all through a series of hallways and just zigzags and stairs and things like that into uh, lesser traveled areas within Starfleet High Command. Oh, uh, here, here it comes. As you get down towards, um, like, I don't want to call it the morgue, <laughs> but it's the morgue. Uh, all of you notice there are, uh, Admiral Nash comes to a complete halt and you notice there are two security personnel laying on the ground their phasers in hand they're just laying there and he says oh no this this can't this is not good doc check them margo grab the phasers okay <laughs> I walk over and kneel beside them and try to see what, what the hell is wrong with them. Time to do some blasting. Uh, okay, I am going to need a reason and medicine check from you, Doc. That is a 16 and a 2. Okay, uh, so you notice that uh, both of these security uh, team members have definitely been in a scuffle recently and they both have puncture marks in the side of their neck just a singular puncture wound 
can I tell like if they got stabbed or like what happened right there? Uh, you would have to get a hold of a tricorder to do that. Uh, but where you and Margot are, mm -hmm. uh, both of you can see in the room, uh, it appears that there was a crazy amount of uh, battle going on. Uh, there are uh, doctors laying all over the place, strewn about. Uh, there's like a um, like a sealed bed that has been broken open. Uh, it it looks like something has definitely escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Jackson, Starfleet Command. Go ahead, Admiral Jackson. Security alert, intruder alert, morgue deck. Uh, get me a bunch of security officers down here and some tricorders for my uh, staff. Okay. I'm uh, right. going to help uh, the doctor a little bit. Okay. So, Vetti, I need you. It's a laboratory, right? It. Uh, I mean, it's a laboratory medical facility, yeah. Let's go in and see if I can find a medical track order for the doc. Uh, okay. So you head in to do that, but Vetti, I need you to roll a, uh, insight and medicine. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Cause I currently cannot see my, yeah, no. What'd you get? Uh, I got 17 and 16. That's definitely higher. <laughs> uh, I know that for sure. Okay, perfect. But uh, what taking a quick, uh, you know, look at this, trying to trying to help the doctor out, you actually, even with those bad, bad, bad rolls, <laughs> you immediately recognize that these puncture marks are indicative of the Borg. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't want to say anything, but I knew it. Are they turning green? <laughs> is Margot near um, Admiral Jackson, or is she near? Yeah, you're all like right near each other. Yeah. Admiral Jackson's like finding a medical tricorder, which you find yeah. one pretty easily. She's gonna look over. Betty, are you okay? Something wrong over there? I know this puncture wound. The puncture wound? It's from a Borg. What? what? Oh, here. A Borg. Here. <laughs> Here's your tricorder, Doc. Are they starting to turn green? Uh, they are starting to change color. Uh, where are we in the timeline? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Admiral Nash says, um, hmm. Interesting story. Don't really have a lot of time to go into it right now, but yes, there's, um, there is a Borg loose in Starfleet command. Uh, should not be loose. We thought it was cut off from the rest of them. The collective, uh, the collective as yes. Um, we were using techniques that were learned through uh, the reversal with uh, Captain Jean-Luc. Um, obviously, things are not going quite as planned. Um, if we could keep obviously. this kind How of quiet. Are, <clears throat> are any of the docks bodies turning green? That is a very good question. Let's look. Let's, let's look and see. <laughs> yep. Chief. Terminate the Borg. It's not quite that easy, Captain. Or oh, Admiral. yeah, they're still laying there. Shoot them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Margo's yeah, going to look over like, you're so lucky if you get to, if you get to them before me. You, you're getting to shoot, Chief. I told you to do it. Lieutenant Commander Whitney. Shoot oh. all these dudes that are turning into Borg. Shoot them till they're dead. Say no more. I thought, were, <laughs> I thought you were talking to Vetti, and I was like, "Well, no, no, well, all right, chief, okay. you're my chief tech, chief security too." So I thought I got promoted. Am I still chief? 
Well, chief of security, not a chief. Oh. You're the chief of the branch. Yeah. You're top notch. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The litter. So go ahead and uh, <laughs> go ahead and start rolling some head blast shots. I guess uh, that would oh, be no, security. No, no. Full laser make them go glow and go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! We what and how many? So that is uh, daring and security. And that's two mm -hmm. d twenties. Just committing mass murder. No, <laughs> like bored. right in front of the doctor. Like, <laughs> even the, even the car shop, did this. Like, not sure if I'm allowed to say, "Hey, please don't kill them." There might be a way to fix them. There's no maybe. Maybe <laughs> yeah. we could try. I don't know. At least let me like turn around so I have plausible deniability, <laughs> and I just turn around and cross my arms, and you can hear me huffing. Even, even the so, car shoots his crew when they get taken over. Margo, so Marco's <laughs> gonna look at Betty and Diana. Wow. Be like, you know that if you got into a steering contest with the Borg, your odds are two to one winning against them. Yeah, it makes no sense, and then she's gonna just cap them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You don't even have to roll. That's a Margot good just point, Margot. <laughs> Margot just walks around double tapping these Borg like, <laughs> like just turning them to ash. Um, <laughs> she didn't like, roll, but she just she shot first and asked questions later. Right, exactly. My philosophy, uh, exactly. Like, I just got promoted. What are you going to do? Yeah. It's true. Your captain's an admiral now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you can always claim, I just I just obeyed his orders. He's the admiral. Right. <laughs> the other, Admiral Nash was just being indecisive. And <laughs> um, Jackson was just, do it. So, uh, at this point, like a ton of security comes down. Uh, there's like 30 security officers all armed with like the, the rifle style phasers. Um, all right, well, we're here. What do we need to do? Find the Borg. Got it. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Yeah. Well, I, I don't Shut know up. if we should do Shut that. Shut up, Nash. Shut up, Nash. <sighs> Whitney, you're in charge of the security teams. Got him. <laughs> Eyes on the prize. <laughs> We're going. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I know we've been friends a long time, Nash, but this is what happens when you mess with Borg. I mean, we were doing very important research. Right. Right up until Starbase One starts to turn green and target Earth. I can't argue with that. Yeah, I'm Real Nash. Speaking of experience with the Borg, you cannot reason with them. That very good point, Lieutenant Commander Vetti, even if your blood is the same color as theirs. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna Round fired. Oh. I'm gonna head out <laughs> and uh let you all handle this and <laughs> Admiral and then... Jackson. May I suggest that I at least get the phasers to where they can shift frequencies so as to not be blocked by the Borg shields. Oh. Good call. Go, do it, Commander. Doc, you got any idea how to reverse this? I didn't think so. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You are being racist toward Betty over there, and now you're going to come at me with an attitude. I am not being racist. I abide by Archer's theorem on Vulcans. <laughs> <laughs> he was a um, great hero of the Federation. <laughs> I'm working on to where the... And it's not against Vulcans. It's against a Vulcan. A Vulcan. Pecan, Conf confetti. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, Lieutenant I'm Commander saying, Vetti. Can I ignore that? <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant Commander Confetti. Let's see. Do Wait, let's go for daring and science. Daring science. and science. 
Okay, switching <laughs> over to my weird science. <laughs> <laughs> and you do get, uh, I believe one of your focuses is on this situation, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, astrophysics, computers, quantum mechanics, cybernetics. Uh, I'll buy that. I think cybernetics yeah, okay. could work, so an extra die, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Let me grab an extra die, then. Holy buy that for a dollar. Your, your your image is frozen, and you do look like a Vulcan now. No emotion <laughs> whatsoever. I swear <laughs> you. Yeah, it's because I'm looking at my uh, deal here. Let's see. Uh, uh, science and what? Mm, yes. Daring. Engineering, <laughs> wasn't it? Daring. <laughs> okay, daring in science. All right, cool. How dare you yeah. make me remember something from 30 seconds ago? Oh Do you not know we are TikTok people who only have a few <laughs> second attention span? Yeah. You, you've got me for seven seconds. That's it. And then we're done. Then we're out of here. We're, we're scrolling up. <laughs> what were we doing? Right. Oh, bored. So there you was know, blasting. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh, so Doc, well, while, while, uh, Vetti is fixing up these phaser gun blaster rifles, what are you doing? I mean, I can't check any of the injured because now they're all dead. Um, I'm going to be, there were no injured. <laughs> there were just bored. <laughs> <laughs> so can I examine the big tub thing that you said was broken into? You sure can. Yeah. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, we are going to do either insight or reason, your choice, and we'll do medicine after that. Um, uh, insight and medicine. So I rolled a 16 and a 17. Nice. So it's a it's a broken it's a broken bed. Uh it's the Harley Crow method of rolling dice. <laughs> uh so <laughs> what you can do though <laughs> what you can do though is uh using the information that they have learned, I will let you as a uh long a long task. So we'll have to do a series of rolls, but as a long task, you can develop a anti-Borg inoculation. Okay. Hopefully I roll better. <laughs> uh, uh, v Lieutenant Commander Vetti, what did you get for your rolls? Did you fix uh, up the rifles? Yes, I got nine and two. Uh, nice. for two successes. Yeah. All right. And so everybody left. is armed to the teeth, ready to rock. Margot, Lieutenant Commander Margot, Whitney, how are you dividing up teams? Um, I would like to divide them up. Are we, because I can split it. Uh, However you want. Are we, 30 are teams of one, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 26 Borg come back. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving away my secrets. <laughs> it's it'll be a Borgish mark. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I need that on a t shirt. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Get a picture of Tracy. In her Borg outfit. Yes. <laughs> Borgish Morg. Borgish Morg. Oh We've gone God. from snack to Borgish Morg. Same time, really. Um, <laughs> What's better than peas and cues? Peas and cues. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, Coming up. So um, I'm going to send out uh, three teams of 10. That way okay. when they are in their areas. And then the four of us can go and do stuff together. If you all will have me. Y'all can go with one of the teams if you want. There'll be 10 of them, so. Oh. 
hopefully they are able to duck, dodge, dip, and dive away from rocks better than the last two that we brought. Jackson Adventure. Oops. Go ahead, Captain. Yes, yeah, send me my guns. <laughs> <laughs> Your guns are transported like with belt and all in front of you on the ground. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Snap. Buckle one, uh, buckle two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now oh, this uniform man. looks good. Tied all right. that sucker. <laughs> so you all are now prepared and ready to go. We are going to kick this off with the doc making a roll for me. It's going to be a one and an eight. Beautiful. Your first task roll goes beautifully. You need to make four successes or four successful roles, I should say. So you are on number one. Uh, now, are you going to be going with the other crew members? Like, are you going with Admiral Jackson and them taking like a portable pad with you to work on this? Or are you just gonna stay here in the medical lab? I would like to go with... Uh... I would like to go, but I'm also worried about the board coming back and messing with stuff. Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go. You can stay here alone if you like, Doc. I also don't want to die if the board <laughs> do come back. Well, only if you get injected. <laughs> and and then we use Margot's method of board eradication right it'll be swift honestly i'm down for that sure i'll stay <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. no oh no well, guess we okay. could leave one security i mean speed bump in the way with her <laughs> <laughs> i think that you should go with a group of i think i should have a group of 10 stay with you we can have two groups of 10 go out and then have one group of 10 stay uh, and then, if our, you, and then like, our group of three. Good. Yeah. I don't have to be faster than the board. I just have to be faster than those two people. So. This is facts. <laughs> this is 100% true. If anyone has any questions, just say that your finger slipped on the trigger and your safety was off. What happens, happens. It's fine. Yeah. You, stun <laughs> you stunned their legs. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you got me. Uh, Phaser <laughs> set to stunning. Oh, crap. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the you, Admiral Jackson, Lieutenant Commander Whitney, and Lieutenant Commander Vetti all head out in search of the Borg. Two groups of 10 head out as well, and 10 stay with the dock. Uh, so what I need is for all of you... Oh, there's no survival role in this. So let's do daring and security to try and track this board down. Okay. What are we rolling? Uh, daring and security. All the two are. best roles. So I got a two and a 14. Five and a 17. Nice. 18 and 15. <laughs> the Harley Crow. Nope. You know, the Harley Crow method of the rolling. <laughs> Good. Nice. Going on? It's just called the Harley Crow method, just for fun. Okay. All right. So uh, you come to basically a a T intersection, um, and you're noticing that uh, there's a couple of cadets laying. To the left, uh, both of them have the trademark puncture wounds. They are not turning colors yet, though. Okay, so they may have some time where we could potentially save them. Venture. See those cadets in front of us? Lock onto them, beam them back to the dock. 
Mm, smart. Uh, hi, Captain. Uh, <laughs> Doc, as you're doing your research and messing with the computer, two cadets are transported into this room with you, both with the trademark stabby stab. Setting me up for failure. I see you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to help them, maybe? Like okay. ease their pain or, I don't know, incapacitate them, like put them in a paralyzed state so they maybe, can't come out. Maybe get the nanites out of them, you know. Yeah, anything like that. Yeah. Put them in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> I'm setting you up for failure. Oh, That's a 14 right. and a 17. Oh, 14 and 17. All right. So you. You basically the stabilize them, <laughs> and uh, it, it seems to be holding off the nanites for now, um, but it's unclear as to how much time you actually have. Uh, so at this point, I need you to make another roll for your inoculation check. A one and a 12. Oof, good one. All right. All right. So returning the scene back to our intrepid crew, uh, the three of you may continue on in either to the left or to the right. I think we're going to go left since that's where we found the cadets. Yeah. Lefty okay. Lucy. Let's Logical go. solution. <laughs> uh, heading left, you travel down a very long hallway of various labs and uh, different testing areas. You know, basically research and development kind of areas. Uh, everything seems to be in order, like none of the doors are broken or scratched or anything like that. And you come to a stairwell leading upwards. Anything on your tricorder there, Vin? Anything? Uh, go ahead and roll 3d20s, and we're going for uh, reason and security. Actually, or, let's go science. Reason and science. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's reasonable. Ha! Ah, doing an eight for successes <laughs> and 15 for I don't know. I forgot. So, so two and one. Uh, let's see, reason and science. 15 makes it. Nice. Uh, so, yes, your tricorder is definitely detecting that this Borg has gone up the stairs uh, and does not appear to be in the immediate vicinity. Stairs. Why did it have to be Borg stairs? Borg is up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Venture. Uh, lock on to me, uh, Whitney, and Vetti, and beam us three decks above our current point. <laughs> Instead of taking the stairs, you I'm have I'm trying to get ahead of it. <laughs> 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 trying to get ahead of the damn thing. So they transport you to the top of this stairwell. Uh, there is one fire door that leads out into a courtyard. Mm-hmm. There you, there you, good girl. She went right for the tricorder. <laughs> yes, yes. I've it got has... it right ahead of me. It has not left my face. <laughs> it has definitely gone this way, and uh, you continue tracking it through the courtyard and into what uh, basically the kitchen for the academy. Oh, great. Okay. You hear Velociraptor sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. My bad. Crossing the streams. Uh, Doc, <laughs> I need an inoculation roll from you, please. Okay, okay. It's going to be a 7 and an 18. Wonderful. There's three. You are right. on the cusp of creating the first ever... Borg vaccine. Be great for stopping them from taking us, but I mean, screwed when they already got us. 
All right, Whitney. Science friction. <laughs> we'll, we'll go through the door. You cover right. I'll cover left. On three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> blasting, blasting your way into the kitchen. Uh, you see that there's a number of kitchen staff in here. Um, they're all kind of like standing at their stations. Uh, but when you burst in, they do not make any kind of movement. That's suspicious. That's Don't good. be suspicious. No, please. No. Uh, they yeah. all turn and they have that trademark green with uh, the puncture wounds and like uh, mechanical parts seem to be growing out of their flesh. Fire! <laughs> uh, I assume I grabbed the taser as well, so I'll. Makes I'll sense. For one. Okay, yeah, so. I, I like Margo. She's got one in each hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so each of you need to Charlie. roll. <laughs> so there's three of them, three of you. I need you to roll Daring Security. Daring uh, Security. While you all are rolling. One of the security officers down in the medical area uh, kind of calls out to uh, Diana. Um, Doc? Yes? We have we have a situation here. Are they, are they waking up? Uh, n n no. Then he kind of, he's like, look at the door. Oh god, I look at the door. <laughs> Turning oh, around no. to take a look at the door, you see a full blown Borg. He walks into the room. He's got his his little arm up with the little like spinny sensor things and he just walks in and stands there. Slowly back away. Let it have its new compatriots. Like, we're going to try. Well, you can try and leave. I have to stay here because I have to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> brave, brave soul. Uh, so you can attempt to uh, can, to finish this up. Um, but while you're rolling... Uh, all of you, what did you get for your your phaser fire rolls? I got a 14 and a 9. Okay, that's I, a hit. I have a oh. 5, which hits, and then a 10 and another 10. Dang, okay. Yeah. So a whole mess of hits. 6, 6, and 17. Wow, okay. Let's see. So, for each hit... I need you to roll. What is it for phasers? Four damage dice, I think. Four d four. Uh, four d sixes. For each, and you want the... for each hit. So yep. like eight dice for me. Yep. Wait, is it only Would... four for me? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, you only you have... hit once, right? Or did you hit twice? Do you have focus? Uh, I hit of, once. Do you have hand phaser under your focuses? On on me, I've got. Yeah. Uh, no. <gasps> got I got a mean That's right good. hook though. <laughs> Use your ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You do have your Andorian ice pick. Um, so if it's four, uh, I rolled a five, a two, and a double sixes. Mm, nice. Nice. Very, very good. So that's, uh, one damage, three effects. Okay. All right. Captain or Admiral, what'd you get? Two ones, a two, a five, and four sixes. Woo. All right. 
Okay, and uh, Lieutenant Commander Vetti, what'd you get? Uh, one, four, three, and a six. All right. Well, all of you are able to blast these transforming uh, peoples, and I'm assuming you've gone full disruptor level, like turn them into nothing. Yeah. Or are you Only just trying sure. to? You got a nuclear from <laughs> orbit. Only way to be sure. Oh, crossing the streams. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the three of you just <laughs> and they energize into nothingness uh, uh, i've seen what these things can do i'm not given any more chance unless <laughs> they're, they're like fair. not really transforming yet so uh that's fair uh doc what'd you get for your last roll 13 and 17. all right um do you know the doc has 10 security guards with her yep <clears throat> So, Doc, um, do we do we shoot this thing? I mean, it's it's not doing anything. Don't aren't they supposed to normally give some kind of speech? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about a speech, but I'm pretty sure as long as it doesn't think we're a threat, it won't attack us quite yet. And there might be a chance I can cure it, but I don't know. Can I, would I be able to cure this one the thing I'm making? Uh, this one actually seems like it's too far gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, it out, like, get but rid of it, it. it oh. takes a few steps towards you. And it <laughs> just stares at you. I'm going to say hi, buddy. Hi, and you. look at the security <laughs> officer and be like, can you kill it? It's creeping me out now. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> as soon as you say that, it says... Ten phaser beams. <laughs> it says, hi, buddy. Like in a... Like a, it's echoing you. It's parroting you. It goes, hi, buddy. I'm Lou. And... <laughs> <laughs> like get shot to nothingness. Oh, no. Bye, Lou. You aren't much anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> the computer, like the computer behind you says, uh, synthesis complete. Vaccine <laughs> created. <laughs> <It's dead. laughs> oh no. Well, she could save two cadets because <laughs> we've killed everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try, I'm gonna try it out on the cadets or whoever was <laughs> shanked by the board. Uh, <laughs> I'm scanning for any other board activity. You do not get any more board activity on your tricorder um, okay. except for two signatures nearby. But then they suddenly just disappear. Uh, Doc, you hypo spray these two cadets, and you can see the mechanical parts are like starting to disconnect from them. Uh, their color is starting to come back, and the hole in their neck starts to seal up. I, I turn to Whitney. Nice shooting, Chief. <laughs> Fist bump, leave them hanging. Fist bump. No fist bump for you. I was going to say that's an order. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hey. can see text just like saying they're like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> now, so, as the three of you are I heading. I hand off the trigger first, okay? Like. <laughs> blow, blow on the end of my barrel. Yeah, my phaser's still oh, smoking. I, uh, I got a quarter of operation, man. Outside of the brackets inwards. Phaser off, handshake, fist bump, you know. You, you finally impressed me, Lieutenant Commander Betty. You don't like Borg. You, you shoot first, ask questions later. I like that. I have run across the Borg before, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That tends to make you a little trigger happy. 
Yes. The three of you head there. back towards the medical laboratory. Well, I've never and, been a uh, <laughs> One of the security team, the, basically like the head of the 10 people there says, um, so Doc, I, should we feel bad about that? I mean, I don't know. It was creeping me out. If you want to feel bad, you can. But honestly, I'm not going to lose any sleep over killing a Borg that was staring at me in a creepy way. <laughs> I think it just wanted to make friends, though. I mean, it didn't It didn't seem like a normal Borg. I mean, there's nothing we can oh, do now. No. You're going to pull this card. <clears throat> Excuse There's me, I'm nothing we can do now. I might cry about it later, but right now I'm just happy we're not dead. Admiral Nash, you know, um, good point. Admiral Nash, I think we need to have a conversation. <laughs> you have it, no it, idea. It's occurred to me that I think you and Starfleet are trying to create our own board. I mean, no, we're no. trying to find a better way to destroy the Borg. Phaser fire works really good if you catch them early. If you catch them early, yes. But unfortunately, <laughs> with the assimilation of Jean-Luc Picard, they know our tactics. <laughs> now, that brings me him. to the next part of why we called you all back here. We would like you all, the reason I wanted to show you this, to tell you about your new mission and, and what we need from you, is we are sending in not a new class, but a refitted Dreadnought class fleet. And we would like for you to be the captain of it, Admiral. So a ship or a fleet? Uh, the ship itself. Uh, the fleet will have to operate each ship individually, um, but communication will be paramount. We are taking the fight to the Borg. So you're, you're, you're giving me a dreadnought. That is correct. It I lean is... over towards Margot and go, we're getting a dreadnought. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the Borgs are getting one too, man. You know how many freaking phaser banks are on a dreadnought? <laughs> More than oh, I could have no. ever got my hands on on my which, own. Which, so. which, which one are we getting? <laughs> which one are we getting? You will be getting the newly remodeled USS Missouri. Oh, grab a pad from somebody walking by. <laughs> hold on i can i can help i can help boom it's, it's good there to it be is in. there is the top or let's see side top back and front and bottom views of the uss missouri the that's, that's, dread that looks so cool that's torpedo launchers on the top and bottom <laughs> torpedo launchers everywhere oh my god i can dual wheel torpedo launchers is that what you're doing <laughs> that's what i'm hearing and i will hear nothing else there will be no further discussion <laughs> i will take oh no god. questions feeling into, right the, chance, what? <laughs> it into the trigger happy ones yes well you know now, we'll take we'll take the mission Admiral. this is not a standard ship, of course, as you know, Admiral, um, but with the new refitting to the USS Missouri, it has an extended medical or extended sick bay, and it has two astrometrics labs. Mm -hmm. um, also here it has the fast targeting system. It does, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the spared no expense. The new EW electronic warfare system? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Improved shield recharge rates? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All the, the newest hull, model. And the whole integrity, like, is really improved. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, and we got that science shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I, I think it might be best to keep the venture in dock uh, for now. Oh, um, then what? The what? How? <laughs> yeah. However, feel free to choose your crew to take with you if there's okay. more members of the venture that you would like to bring. Uh, we'll take by the Russian. Means. Yeah, we'll take the Russian kid. Off of him. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, also be aware. Uh, it is equipped instead of shuttlecraft. It is equipped with uh, ten fighters. <laughs> that's, that's that's nice to know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I'm qualified in those. Um, we can make <clears> that work. <throat> we can find something to do. Yeah, we could use them. Each got a phaser bank and a torpedo tube on. Absolutely. <laughs> it's only 10 more torpedoes and 10 more <laughs> He's like counting them out. Oh like <laughs> Margo's eyes are just lit up like. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to control those from the bridge with my two buttons for above and below the aircraft. Oh. There's a will, there's a way. You got 10 fingers. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like she's playing it like an organ, like dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. You playing Phantom of the Opera on that L? Phasers are done. Torpedoes <laughs> are done. With the phasers and the torpedoes, all just being different instruments, basically. <laughs> well, hey, um, uh, venture, sir. Venture, yeah, yeah. Transport me and the bridge team and the dock here straight over to the USS. Missouri's Bridge. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, and you you guys are on your own, so. Fair enough, sir. It's been a pleasure. Stand down, and I grant the whole crew leave, except for the Russian. Ha -ha. He comes my with. My final act of hey, you hear you hear somebody in the background go, "Oh man." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you all get transported to the bridge of the USS Missouri. It has that new ship smell. Uh, you know, like new like I was saying smell. before, it's got that plastic still on the L cars, like a new phone. Uh, so it, it's brand new, ready to rock and roll. And that is where we are going to end this episode. Uh, uh, I, I, what do you? I, I, I go with the tactical <laughs> with uh, Whitney. And we each get one side of the little plastic on the console and tear it off together. Right. <laughs> Tofu, uh, you are just as bad as Whitney. <laughs> what do you call a depressed robot? A cyborg. Oh, no. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh, you know. Just kidding. Thank you, Tofu. You are a gem. Uh, but thank you to the players for joining me this evening and coming up with such an amazing and inventive way to deal with the Borg. <clears throat> Doc. Uh, <laughs> Just murder. Yeah. My interesting <laughs> fact. Time you know, Poor uh, Lou. I like it when I can see my crew learn from example. <laughs> oh. Poor Lou. Yeah, I saw them kill the, side, the Borg and I was just like, do it. Get rid of them. I... Oh, Captain before, said it was okay. Before we go, Vinny, uh, part yeah. of your, your, your week off here until next week. I need you to figure out what those two signatures were that vanished. Were they the the the, the cadets downstairs, or were they something beaming out? Of course, sir. We'll be working on that right now. Because you know, disappearing can be all kinds of things. It could. It could indeed. And thank you, of course, to our wonderful chat who had some really great puns. That was so much fun. Uh, thank you to all of our subscribers and to Tofu for gifting so many subscriptions today. Big, big, big hearts for Tofu. Such thank an you, amazing tofu. person. Thank you for the one this afternoon. I might yes, have yes. on there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see. Let's have a look real quick. I haven't seen who. I haven't done a raid in a while. Let's do. Let's do a quick raid. Ooh, yeah. Let's see who's online here. Oh, we got Rainbow Mike Gaming. Let's. Uh, Let's head over there, see what she's up to. Uh, she is also in the GGS, so I don't know what she's playing. Uh, but uh, when we get in there, let's give her some confetti goats if you're a subscriber. If not, just give her some love. Show her that we're here. Show, show her Star Trek loud and proud. Thank you all very much, and we will see you all next Wednesday 
for Star Trek Adventures. Bye! Oh.